Hey, hi everyone. I'm in Google Sheets. Uh, I'm doing linear regressions. Actually, I'm going to do linear, exponential, and polynomial regressions here in Google Sheets for my pre-calculus class. Uh, first thing you always want to do is title this. This is going to be problem number five, and this is section seven five. Okay. Uh, I enter my data, making sure I have X and Y in the first row. I like those bolded. Then I'm going to select all my data and make sure it's centered in my cell. Then uh, all of the data itself is going to be selected. The way I'm going to run a regression is I'm going to go up here to insert, chart. And then under the chart types, I'm going to select a scatter plot. And now my data is graphed right there on X and Y. Under customization, you, chart doesn't mean anything unless it's titled. So this is problem number five. I keep coming down here. The horizontal axis is just my X axis. And I keep scrolling down here, and then here is my trend line. So I'm going to select trend lines, and I'm going to run a linear regression on there. Once I select linear, I can scroll down a little further and select my R squared value. So there's my linear regression. It has a pretty low R squared value. I'm going to just hit insert to keep track of it, and then I'm going to move it over here. Um, I'm going to do this again. Actually, I'm going to take this and move it further over here. Okay. Do the same thing again, insert chart. Uh, I forgot to select the data. So you have to select the data first. Insert chart. Again, that was a scatter plot. And then I'm going to go to customization. And then I'm going to scroll down. My first graph was a linear. Well, now this one, I'm going to set a trend line um, that's exponential. Once I select exponential, then I can see it's R squared. Insert. Now I have my second graph. Make sure they all stay on the same screen here. Let me see if I can make it a little smaller. I want to make sure you still see that R squared value. Okay, so R squared for linear is 0 0.868. R, R squared for exponential is 0 0.964. I'm going to run my third regression. Let me again remember to select my data, insert, chart. So it's going to be a scatter plot. Customization over here. I'm going to run my third regression, my trend line. The trend line, I'm going to select now polynomial. And I'm also going to show my R squared value, so R squared selected. So before I insert this, I'm going to look at these three data, three different kinds of regressions. My first one was a linear with the R squared of 0.868. My second was exponential with the R squared of 0.964. It's a pretty good fit. You know, the distance between these points and the lines isn't very much. And then here's my polynomial with the R squared of 0.983. Since 0.983 is the highest value closest to one, my polynomial is my best fit function. So since this is my best fit, I'm gonna use an equation and it's actually gonna run that regression for me. So I'm gonna insert that graph. Given this set of data, I run three regressions. I have three R values. Whichever R value is the closest to one is the best fit then I keep the equation from that R value. So I'll just put that equation in here. It's going to be equals 4.5x to the power of 2 minus 23x plus 31. So there's my equation. And the whole power of this is now that if I have another x value of 17, I could take that and plug it into my model and make predictions with it. So again, your data is only as good, I mean, your regression is only as good as your data. Uh, you really need to qualify all this, where it came from, 
uh, you run your three regressions, whichever R, R squared value is closest to one is the best fit line, and then you can select the equation and use that as your model.